when you would say you were breaking in, was there connections that brought you there? I didn't know anybody. I had moved here from Ohio. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I got my second big role. I'll tell you how and why I got oh, it. I want to hear it. Yeah, it's funny. Um, I did the movie Traffic with Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yeah, it's a good one. And we shot it in while I was still living in Ohio. Okay. Um, when it was time to move here, I, I had moved to California right when it was time for the premiere of Traffic. Yeah. I go to the, to the premiere and... Me and my parents, we had already told everybody to check me out. It was my first big thing. My parents were so proud. My baby with Michael Douglas. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, your boy with Michael Douglas, man. Because my awesome. scene was with Michael Douglas. Oh, that's great. The scene takes place when Michael Douglas is driving through the neighborhood looking for his daughter. Now, I play like, you know, a drug dealer. I'm a bad boy. Okay. And Michael Douglas is in his car. And I stop him. He's at the light. I stop him and I'm in, he's in his car. I'm in his face. My character was called The Face. And oh. I'm asking him, <laughs> right, <laughs> The Face. That's great. So I'm asking him, you know, what are you doing in my hood? You know, I'm getting on here and I'm all up in his face. He yeah. takes off. Now I'm at the premiere. I'm sitting there and my heart is thumping out my chest. Yeah. I'm like, here we go. Cause you know, it takes a while for them to edit it and finally put the movie oh, out. Oh yeah, so a couple of like years, year. yeah, yeah. This was like, I had been about a year. Okay. And man, he drives right past me. Oh. I am devastated. Oh. I'm sitting there, damn near about to cry. But for some reason they kept me in the credits. So, you, I mean, you still get residuals, but I didn't care about that. Yeah. What I cared about is people who thought I was lying. You know, yeah, thought my yeah. parents were, were lying. The credits go up, I see my name as guy on the street. <laughs> oh no. So I go to Steven Soderbergh afterwards and I said, hey man, why y'all cut my part out? Just like that. Not knowing any better, I'm just hurt. Yeah, and he was like, "Whoa!" Uh, he looking around like we're security. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Well, uh, Vince, uh, well, we we had to pay Michael up front. Um, you know, we went over budget, so you know, we had to cut some scenes out." He said, "You know, that's that's just how it is." Right. And I was like, "All right," and I start to walk away. He stops me. He writes down. He's he. This is when people write down numbers he wrote down his secretary's number he said uh give my secretary a call I, he said i'm working on a new movie and i have a part for you breaking into the industry is it's tough it's what tough you, what you done somewhere else i figured since i did traffic and i did a lot of stuff around ohio i was gonna come here and just boom it was gonna yeah work. yeah be a big fish nah it doesn't work like that you have to have patience you have to have faith you have to have tough skin. You know, you got to be hey, be ready so you don't have to get ready. You know, yeah. have your stuff together. And most importantly, be professional. Yeah. All that being late and, you know, having egos and all that. Leave, yeah. that, out, leave that out at the door because whatever you did somewhere else, it doesn't matter. Everything you just said can be said for a screenwriter. All of it.